Sucked. Kuala Lumpur. Kuala Lumpur, yeah, Malaysia, you know, rough place. And I come out to LA, I'm like, okay, it's gonna happen. And I land in LA with one purpose in mind to assemble a band. And for the first three weeks, nothing's happening. And then I go to a jam session, and there's this like very kooky girl there, you know, huge voice. I mean, I don't say anything about her voice, it's a phenomenal voice. But the thing that really caught my eye was that every time a song would end in the little jam session, she'd be like, all right, play the next song. You know, it's just infinite energy to play song after song after song, like insatiable appetite for music. And suddenly I knew, like I was looking for the, the, the twin-headed beast, like the Mick Jagger to my Keith Richards, the Steven Tyler to my Joe Perry, and I was like, there she is, you know? I was just like jamming with different people. And then I met the two of them separately and I just had so much tremendous respect for them as musicians. I remember they asked me, um, if I wanted to play with them, and I was like, yes, most definitely, yeah, because they had that approach to music that I was kind of seeking, the kind of creative approach that I didn't see with uh, most other people. We're like reaching this point now where we all know we're in it, um, and that wasn't true before because we hadn't been together long enough, we hadn't like, like done the shows that we've done, but now that we know we're like all in it, things are getting really good, mm -hmm. you know, and we can see that reflected in like the shows we're playing, the people who come, you know, the way people respond to the music, it's all been so positive and I think it's because we like know we're in this, you know. We trust each other. Right. In a yeah. way we have it. It's, it's a really deep thing. I know that all my relationships in my life with my parents and my significant others and all, all that might be in turmoil, but with these guys, like we're locked. And I know they'll always have my back. If you're gonna do it, do it 100%. Yeah. Like, <laughs> we're doing like the, the full time student, like part time job, full time band thing, and and my body is dead. Like, if, <laughs> this is not my voice, and like, I've been sleeping like 12 hours every night because like, I'm just so dead, but I've never felt more alive. Like, this yeah. is. I have never been at such a high than I am right now. Um, my favorite book is The Alchemist, um, and we're all very fond of, of the book. It's all about um, not knowing if there will be anything at the end of your journey, but still doing it because you feel that in your heart that that's what's right. Um, and it's yeah, and the guy, San, his name is Santiago. He he travels. He first starts in Spain as a shepherd. Then he goes to he goes all the way to Egypt. You know, he has to do a bunch of things. And the journey is telling him that his that it will be like in the pyramids of Egypt. Like his treasure will be in the pyramids of Egypt. But he finds um, something there that leads him right back to the first tree he slept under, and that's where his treasure is. And that's exactly what this is like. Is like you know you're working towards your personal treasure you know but you don't know if you're gonna if you're ever gonna find it you know you, and you have to do crazy stuff like selling your flock you know we have to do crazy stuff like not 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 um, doing what our parents want us to do or maybe sacrificing grades sometimes so hopefully there's something at the end of our journey and that's what um, that's what it is so Santiago's trip so the trip he takes to, to reach it yeah.